God. Be excellent. Be simple. Be authentic. Be a leader. You must choose your life journey. Experience a God who's for you. I don't know what you're going through today, but I know you're going through something. I know all of us are facing something today. And I know if you're like me, you know, we have had those times in our life where we wanted to quit. I said, what is the use? Just going to give up. Well, I want to encourage you today. Stay with me. This is part three of how to build grit in our life. And right at the very beginning, I want to give you an awesome resource. Leaders are readers. Not all readers are leaders, but all leaders are readers. Not all readers are leaders, but all leaders are readers. One of my favorite best friends said, you'll be the same person you are today, five years from today, except for the books you read and the people that you meet. So this book on grit by Angela Duckworth, I want to encourage you, our whole series on grit, I want to encourage you to get the resource. If you remember a few weeks ago on our podcast, I gave you two keys to success. And one of it was, you know, receptivity, which is a teachable attitude, spirit, a lifelong learner, growth mindset. But the other one was uh, resources, resources such as books, things like this, relationships. At the very top of the book, I love it, it says psychologists has spent decades searching for the secret to success. We're all looking for that, right? But Duckworth is the one who found it. And in her book, she basically says it's not personality. I mean, people told me 40 years ago, you don't have the presentation, you don't have the looks, you don't have the personality, you don't have the backing, you don't have the reason. Everybody told me what I didn't have, okay? But one thing I told them I did have 40 years ago, I said, I'm going to work harder than anybody else before me in the ministry, in churches here. I'm going to work harder. I'm going to pay a price no one else would pay. Okay? It paid off. To God be the glory. All right? So um, I encourage you because she said it's grit. It's grit. It's not personality, looks, or presentation. It's grit. You just won't quit. You just keep getting up. You know, I've told my wife, Kim, we've been here for 40 years in our city. And I told her at the the very beginning, because the very beginning, we broke barriers. Church has never done this. We did that. Church has never had a skate park. We had that. Church has never were on television. We were. Church has had a bus ministry, but not the size that we had 12 buses at one time. We kept breaking, you know, churches had never done. We, We had done. And I kept telling Pastor Kim at the very beginning we came here, I know why God called us to St. Louis, because it's going to take a fighting spirit to press through and move forward. It's going to take a fighter, okay? Way back when. Well, my whole growing up, boxing team, high school, uh, sparred with a golden glove, a champion of Iowa, and uh, I was all into boxing, still am into boxing, not like I used to be. I like to watch it, you know? So I guess that fighting spirit, So I want to encourage you today, that I'm going to encourage you today to have a fighting spirit, to have a spirit of grit, that you just won't quit. Nothing is going to stop you. It's a mindset. So this is part three today. You can go back and watch the other podcast, but let's just begin how to build grit. Talk to you today about how to build it, okay? We talked about what it is. Again, it's to face adversity to adapt, adjust. Now, we all went through COVID a couple years ago, and they tell us the people that could adapt and adjust made it through. Those who couldn't adapt and adjust didn't make it through very well. Whoa. So grit, you face adversity, you adapt, you adjust. You're not going to give up. You're going to find a way. You're going to solve it. You're going to be a solution finder up to overcome and keep moving forward to your future. Godly grit, won't find the word grit in the Bible, but you will find the word steadfast, endurance, and courage. That's godly grit. We've looked at that in our study together. You weren't born with grit. It had to be learned. You weren't born with grit. It's a learned behavior. It's a learned behavior. How do I build grit? Number one, I'm going to give you several ways. Number one, is have a growth mindset. I'm a victor, not a victim. I'm not going to make excuses. I'm not going to blame people. I, I, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to grumble and complain. With God's help, I'm going to have a growth 
mindset. That's so important. When you have a growth mindset, your mind is open. Uh, you're creative. I can either have a conventional mindset or a creative mindset. A conventional mindset or a creative mindset. Uh, if I'm conventional, then my mind is closed. No new methods. You know, like I was talking to someone today on my staff, and they were telling me, here's some new ideas I want to do, Pastor, but I was told you would never allow it. And Daniel's sitting there with me, our executive pastor, and Daniel starts laughing. And here's what this person on staff said to me today. You're nothing like what other people have said you are. You're nothing. I go, really? And they go, yeah, because all their ideas I approved. I thought they were great. They were creative. I want to grow. I want to keep growing. A growth mindset, you have an open mind. A conventional mindset, a non-growth mindset, a fixed mindset, your mind is closed to new ideas. New ideas. So number one, in building grit, you have to have a growth mindset. Are you looking for some interactive activities and special events that will help build your leadership and mentoring skills? Or maybe you're just looking for a place where you can network and promote your business. I encourage you, join us at our Marketplace Ministry events. You can visit our website for our upcoming dates and speakers. Number two, you base and build your faith and trust on God's promises. I shared with you last week when we came here and started Church on the Rock, churches are businesses. I've got 50 employees. I've got 50 employees. We've got thousands of people who call their church, their church home. It's a business, okay? I can remember many times, you know, wanting to quit, but I would remember a promise. I could remember my mother, when she was alive, she would always write me cards with scriptures on them. And she'd say, Dave, this is a word for you. Dave, this is a word for you. And when I, things got tough, the tough get going, right? Robert Schuler wrote a book on that. When things get tough, the tough get going. Robert Schuler, I can remember reading that book. But I look back on those cards that my mom, she'd write promises. And so I'd go back to those promises and they stirred up my faith and they built my trust that that which God had started in me, God was going to complete it. So you just won't give up if you're building your faith and trust, not on people, not on places, uh, not on movements or trends or culture. You're basing it on the Word of God, God's promises, okay? That builds grit. Number three, you have to have a strong purpose. People with grit have a purpose that won't quit. People with grit have a purpose that won't quit. You have a purpose that makes a difference in the lives of other people. At Church on the Rock, our mission statement is this, to lead people to a God is for them and help them discover his purpose for their life. People without a purpose are lazy. People without a purpose are just, you know, coasting and drifting through life. People without a purpose don't want to get up in the morning. People without a purpose quit way too soon. People with grit have a strong purpose that makes a difference in other lives. I look back over 40 years, I can say thousands of people have got born again. Thousands of people have come to Christ. Was my purpose worth it? Was it worth it that I didn't quit in the 10th year of this ministry, the 20th year, the 30th year? Was it worth it? I think it's worth it to see people's lives change. People with grit have a strong purpose that won't quit. Number four, a personal growth plan. People with grit have a plan, a personal growth plan, a daily routine. Listen very carefully. Routine builds resilience. Routine builds resilience. Routines, good routines that are building you create stability and security and confidence. You've got to have a personal growth plan, a daily routine that builds your character and your grit. Years ago, I was in Kansas City, Missouri at a conference on leadership. John Maxwell was the speaker. I sat at the very front. I mean, it was a large couple thousand people there. I, I always came early. I sat to the front. One of the sessions, John Maxwell said how he had paid a guy when he was a young pastor 
money to go out to lunch with him so he could pick his brain, ask him questions, and better himself. So at the end of one of the sessions in the morning, I ran right up to John Maxwell, and I said, John, I'll give you $100. This was, this was a long time ago. This was probably 30 years ago. He was still pastoring in San Diego, okay? Tells you how long ago it was. He was still a pastor. I said, John, I'll give you $100 if you go to lunch with me. He said, you don't have to do that. He said, let's go to the pastor's office, order Subway, and sit down during the lunch. So seriously, out of all those people, thousands, it was me, Maxwell, and the pastor. We sat down, opened up our Subway sandwiches, get ready to eat. First thing John Maxwell asked me, never forgot it, how big is your church? No, he didn't ask me that. How, how large a family you have? Didn't ask me that. How many kids do you got? Didn't ask me that. How do you feel about this? Didn't ask me that. The first question out of John Maxwell's mouth to me is, David, tell me your personal growth plan. What was he doing? Locating me. If I didn't have one, he considered he'd be wasting his lunch hour. Thank be unto God, I had a personal growth plan. So people with it have grit. Keep growing your skills with Pastor David Blunt's weekly leadership lifter. On our website, you will find more uplifting teachings, book recommendations, and other lecture materials that will bring fulfillment to your life. Also, on the website, you can purchase Pastor Blunt's books, as well as his upcoming release, God is for You. Number five, build strong relationships with strong people. Remember I said earlier in our three-part series how that you're not born with grit, but you learn grit? Relationships. You want to be around people who are strong, not weak, not mamby-pamby, not up and down, not moody, not feeling sorry for themselves, not mad at the world. Winners hang out with winners, right? If you want to be an eagle, don't hang out with turkeys, right? Well, growing up, both of my grandparents were farmers, okay? They were farmers. And every summer, our parents would send us to spend two weeks with our grandparents on the farm. I'm talking about, I'm in first and second and third grade, okay? And I can remember my grandfather on my mother's side, his name was Ralph Ruby, Grandpa Ruby, okay? And I can remember he had a farm, he had sheep, pigs, cattle, he had crops that he grew, he had a trucking company. He, I mean, he was an entrepreneur, my grandfather. And I can remember as a little guy that he would get up way early in the morning and take me with him. We'd do chores. And then, you know, he'd work around, you know, the farm, fixing machinery, working on a gate, working on fence, working on a tractor, working on a plow. And then in the afternoons, we'd get out in the field, and he wouldn't get off the tractor or stop. My grandmother would bring the supper to the field. And I still remember he wouldn't quit till it was dark, and he had to turn the lights on to work in the field with a tractor. And I can remember as a little boy crying, as a little kid crying, saying, Grandpa, please, let's go in, let's go in. And he'd just tell me, you know, shut up, Davey, we are working. What did he have? Grit. He was an entrepreneur. He was successful, but he had grit. I think being around that strong relationship caused me to have grit, okay? So if you want grit, you can't hang around people who want to quit all the time at every obstacle. Find people who are strong in character, strong in willpower, strong purpose. They're passionate about what they're doing. They have the right perspective and let them rub off on you. How to build grit. Have a God-sized dream and then remember it daily. The bigger the dream, the bigger you have to become. The bigger the dream, the longer that it takes. And so you have to have grit to make that happen. Manage your thoughts, emotions. The other was six. This is seven. Manage your thoughts, emotions, and mouth. My biggest problem is me. Isn't that your biggest problem is you? We have to learn to self-manage before we can manage other people. And if I'm going to have grit, i got to watch what I say. i got to watch what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling. And I have to manage it and not let it manage me. Well, I hope our podcast today has added value to you. I hope this three-week series has made a difference on grit. Can't wait to our next series here on the Leadership Podcast. If it's added value, press like and share. Until next week, we're going to be praying for you. Y'all pray for us and keep on building grit. Mm-hmm.